So first I forge the top spike and I forge it out of a one inch round bar. I just start by shaping it just with a hammer and anvil, heating it up with a coal forge, getting it to the right size and shape. This is probably the most, one of the most time consuming parts about making this is getting that spike the right size because this is hard steel to work with. It takes a while. A lot of hammer blows. And I cut it off and that's when it's almost finished. I still have some more forging to do on it. And then I move on to uh, the Viking head and the back spike. Um, and this part I just cut it out and right now I'm just doing the shaping on it because it was pretty crude before. I'm just defining all the angles and everything making it the right size and shape and then I bevel it out and then I move on to drilling each piece after they're hardened and tempered uh, to in order so that I can put a handle on it and I fix the handle onto the pieces by using a piece of ash wood that I peeled the bark off and sanded down and then I just do some minor polishing on the pieces to make them look rustic and to really show that they're hand forged and then I put all the pieces on the handle and fix them secure them with nails that I used as rivets uh, connected to steel plates and that's what's holding everything together and this is what it looks like when it's finished. It was a lot of fun to make this and uh, this pole axe looks really really cool and I think it would be a great decoration but it also can be used so I mean that's just assuming you know you have a practical use for a pole axe which I doubt you do but you know just in case. <laughs>